Hi, this is John Phillips. Uh, I'm the chemistry teacher at Spring Street International School in Friday Harbor, Washington. Um, we were blowing up in balloons the other day as an example of gas laws and blowing them up until they popped and a student was curious about what was the pressure inside the balloon at the point that the balloon popped. So we devised a pretty nice little experiment, I think, to, um, to measure that. We took a, um, a filter, a suction flask, and put a two-hole stopper in it. In one of the holes, I inserted a, uh, a Schrader valve from an old bicycle tube. And in the other uh, hole, I inserted a, uh, a piece of tubing that allowed me to connect up a um, vernier uh, pressure sensor. And then I was able to attach a bicycle pump to the uh, Schrader valve and uh, attach the balloon with a little bit of duct tape to the uh, side arm of the filter flask. And then just ask the student to uh, volunteer, and the student's not shown here. This is Alex pumping away. Um, our videographer, like their legs, didn't get the rest of her in there. In any event, we just asked Alex to pump away, and as you can see, the balloon inflates. And uh, it's kind of interesting to note that uh, the pressure in, in the system remains relatively constant for most of the experiment uh, at about 810 millimeters of mercury. Um, because the balloon has the capacity to, uh, because it's stretchy, to expand its, its volume. So that sort of compensates for the um, increasing amount of gas. And so the pressure remains relatively constant. Uh, but as the balloon gets bigger and bigger, as you can see here in the video, essentially what happens is that we've uh, stretched the balloon to about its uh, maximum, uh, what we might call stretchiness or elasticity. And now uh, the pressure inside the balloon begins to increase. Uh, at this point, it's probably 820, 830 millimeters of mercury. So uh, we were pausing off and on here so that I could um, comment on that and uh, could compare the fact that the balloon was increasing in pressure. Um, so we're all in the classroom now sort of holding our ears, prepared for this thing to blow. And uh, the fact that we're pumping it fairly slowly means the balloon has a little chance to, uh, to, to adjust to the increasing amount of gas. If we had pumped faster, I suspect we would not have gotten it as, um, as large or to as high a pressure as, as, we, as we did. So the pop is coming up here pretty soon. Uh, you may want to hold your ears. Anyway, this was kind of a fun little experiment um, to demonstrate uh, the relationship between pressure, volume, uh, and uh, amount, of, uh, amount of gas, moles. We had fun. It's always fun to blow things up, even if they're just balloons. We're getting close here. Would have been nice if that student had gotten his leg out of the way, but... Such is the case when you're doing on-the-fly videos. Boom! There it goes. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's a shot of me trying to talk about. There's a little bit of a profile. There's a, an expanded uh, profile uh, of that uh, at the end of this uh, little video. Good. Enjoy.